Hey Scorpio, welcome to November 2019 and happy birthday! <laughs> this is the happiest you've been in your own skin in a long time. And what's the source? You've reignited your passion for life and you're seeing in colors again. No more feeling stuck or bored. So much is happening with you and it's all good and you love it. So you're in this dream, plan, bring it to fruition. Nothing's getting in your way. Enjoy the results. Use your intensity, creativity, and dogged determination to make things happen. You're really having the time of your life here in November. You are delirious with delight. <laughs> and this is good news because it's your solar return which means you're going to carry this energy with you through all of 2020 until your next birthday in November of 2020. So we have a lot going on this month. Planets are moving forward, changing signs. Venus enters Sagittarius on November 1st. Mars is going to square Pluto on the 5th. That is tremendous intensity. You can get a lot done with this energy. The only challenge with it is, is to not burn yourself out, you know, to exhaust yourself by doing too much. Balance is really important here in November. The sun sextiles Saturn and trines Neptune on the 8th. This is good news. So Saturn is really helping you to plan, execute, bring to fruition. And Saturn is empowering you to be successful, to make your dreams a reality. And you can feel it, like you can feel the energy of Saturn in here sextiling the Scorpio sun. And with Neptune, it's allowing you to really dream and tap into the creative flow of the universe and pull it in from higher levels into your day-to-day -day experiences, into your day-to-day -day work, and so on. So it's really important, I think, for all of us is to stay focused on what it is we want to manifest and create so that the law of attraction can bring it to us and stay out of the negative news, stay out of the politics, stay out of other people's drama, and just focus on what you're manifesting and creating because you really are in the driver's seat now and you're getting tremendous support from the universe to have your heart's desire. And Saturn is sextile Neptune as well. So this is really cool the way the sun is sextile Saturn and Saturn and trine in, trine in uh, Neptune and Neptune is sextile Saturn. So there's this ability to manifest from your dreams, from your visualizations. And that's another important tool, is to visualize what we want and visualize it coming into manifestation. This is what athletes do before they execute their run or swimming or whatever it is they're going for. They visualize themselves winning. They visualize themselves achieving their uh, goal and using the power of your mind, the body responds to it and achieves what you desire, which is really cool. And then you have the Taurus full moon on the 12th. Now this is one powerful full moon. There is so much happening in here. You have the sun in Scorpio coupled with Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, opposing the moon in Taurus, which is exalted in Taurus. The moon loves being in Taurus because Taurus is about comfort and security, and the moon loves security. And she is coupled with the asteroid Vesta in Taurus. So they're sitting together, and they are in harmonious energy flow with Saturn. Saturn is trying the moon, sextile the Scorpio sun. <clears throat> Pluto is trine the moon 
and sextile the Scorpio Sun, as well as Mercury too. So they're getting tremendous support here from both Saturn and Pluto. And that is amazing considering the Aries full moon was being slammed by Pluto and uh, created a lot of drama in October. This is a different energy. This is intense. And there's going to be a lot going on. There could be a lot being revealed. Secrets could be revealed. Scorpio rules emotional truth. With Mercury retrograde opposing the moon, you know, there could be secrets that get, you know, things are going to come out in the media. Things are going to come out, maybe in our personal lives as well, about, you know, certain people or situations uh, that could be like, whoa, I didn't know that. That's surprising. And, you know, we want to be working with the energies. One of the important messages in here, you know, with Mercury retrograde like this is we need to just go with the flow. That you manifest in your dreams, that doesn't mean you're going to do it all in November. And you're going to do it like on your birthday. It's going to happen in your own timetable because we're all on our own individual life path destiny we all have our own divine timing and things are going to unfold for you in the right time with mercury retrograde that is going that means there's delays that there's going to be hiccups even where we have to work through some things or three steps forward two steps back the good news is Neptune, Saturn, and Pluto are in harmonious energy flow. Neptune is trining the Scorpio Sun. Neptune is trining Mercury. So for all of us, the, the importance is to take a deep breath and listen. Listen to your mighty I am presence. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your inner being. Don't go by what people are saying necessarily on the surface, but go deeper. Scorpio is about going to the depth of something, going to the depths of yourself and knowing yourself, knowing what works for you, respecting what works for you, and seeing the bigger picture here. Scorpio is about visioning through the third eye. So you all see an eye of God. And we want to see the big picture here, not just the tunnel of what's right in front of us right now that is important we want to make sure we are dotting our i's and crossing our t's especially with mercury retrograde the devil is always in the details but it is important for you to see the big picture the big vision of where you're going and how powerful you are in manifesting what it is you desire in manifesting your dreams because you are getting tremendous support here from the universe. And this is also a healing energy for you. With Saturn and Pluto positioned like this with the moon and the sun and Mercury, it gives you the ability to see through the baloney. You know, your, your, your bull poop radar is up and you're just able to read it, you know, like, okay, they're saying this, but that isn't registering it. They're, that's not registering it. I think this is going on, but I don't really need to even express that right now. It's fine to hold your cards to your chest. You don't have to, you know, be out there and trumpet the truth. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's more empowering for you to be trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition, doing what's right for you, Staying focused on your manifestations and not trying to control outcome. I think that's a really important message here for us in November, especially with Mercury retrograde, is let's not, let's not control outcome. Let's not, you know, what's that saying? Too many cooks in the kitchen. You know, it's like, let's just focus on what I want to create, what makes me happy. So at this full moon, it's giving you the opportunity to say, okay, what is it that I truly desire? 
Mars into Scorpio on the 19th. He is sextiling Jupiter on the 12th too. This is really good news because this is so empowering for you where at this full moon you can manifest prosperity, abundance. And like I said, it's not like all necessarily going to come in at once in November because it's your birthday. It would be nice. But we've got this little bugaboo called Mercury retrograde over there that has to move direct because Mercury rules business and commerce. He has everything to do with money. And he's going to go direct on the 20th. Yay! Let's do our happy dance. You know, so, so we want to be patient here. And you're having an opportunity here at this full moon to look at, well, what is it that I desire? And this is what I want you to do. I really want you to tune in to your inner child. That is your soul. And no matter how old we are on the outside, eternally we're timeless and ageless and everyone has an inner child. And I want you to tune into that inner child and ask her or him, what is it that you desire? Not what you think you desire, not what the ego tells us what we desire. But what is it that you desire? And what do other people want from you now? Because with the Taurus full moon, it does bring the focus to relationships and partnerships. And it's giving you the opportunity to define what relationships mean to you now. And I think it's really empowering if you ask your partner, for those of you coupled, ask your partner the same question. What does relation define relationship what it means to you because you'll be interesting to see what how your partner thinks may could have a whole different belief about relationships and i think it's important for you to pose this same question to your entire posse friends family colleagues this is important because it's what it's going to do is it's going to be very revealing and it's going to give you tremendous insight into what you desire and how you define relationships now in your life. Not a year ago, not even six months ago, maybe not even last month, but going forward now. Defining relationship, what it means for you now, and what that will do is it will create equilibrium for you in your life. And that's what we seek because full moons can pull us apart where you know, it's like, well, what, well, what about what I want? And then the, you know, the relationships, well, what about what I need from you? And so <clears throat> here is your opportunity to really dive deep into what do relationships mean to me now? And ask your partner, ask your posse what it means to them as well. Then, of course, Mars into Scorpio on the 19th. Mars comes home to Scorpio. He loves being in Scorpio. Mars going into Scorpio is a big deal. And that is going to give you tremendous energy and power. And I'm glad it's right when Mercury goes direct, too. Because now Mercury stations direct on the 20th. And, and with Mars in your sign, that's the green lights. That's your, okay, go ahead, you know, sign on the dotted line, start that new job, start that new project, go after what you want, experience the new beginnings that are happening for you, and just keep manifesting. You're really, I see really happy here in November going into December, and it's exciting. The sun will enter Sagittarius on the 22nd. And Venus enters Capricorn on the 25th. Venus is on the move. First she enters Sagittarius on the 1st. Then she enters Capricorn on the 25th. And then we have the Sagittarius new moon on the 26th. And this is very good for prosperity for you. So it's giving you a new start here in the area of what you love and value, your resources, your creativity, your talents, your gifts, your abilities. And the new moon is coupled with the asteroid Pallas Athena. And she is about truth, strategy, and wisdom. So it's important for all of us to be strategic in what we're doing now. 
Sagittarius has the tendency to just aim and fire. <laughs> Here are the messages. Let's be strategic at what we're aiming for. And this is important for you because Uranus is making that final in conjunct to the new moon in Sagittarius. The new moon in Scorpio, it was opposing. The new moon in Libra, it was also an in conjunct. When we get to the Capricorn new moon, it will be trining that new moon. So this is the final adjustment. So there's some sort of adjustment you need to make. And for you, it could be defining what relationship means to you now, defining what you love and value, defining perhaps a new way of making money, building wealth, building up your resources. And I see you being very successful with this. It's time to try something new here at the Sagittarius New Moon. Uranus always rewards us when we reach out for new experiences. It's not about doing the old, you know, way. It really is about embarking in, in a new way. And this is really good for you because you have so much support from Pluto. Saturn, Neptune, Venus, Mars, Mercury's now direct. So the universe really is supporting you and empowering you to make your dreams come true, to make things happen for you. And it's exciting. It really is exciting. And of course, in the States, we have... Happy Thanksgiving on the 28th. Neptune stations direct on the 27th. That's a very subtle energy. Most, most of us don't even feel it. But it is, you know, he's moving direct now. And then the moon and Venus will trine Uranus on the 28th. This is good news. This is, you know, really where, you know, it could be some sort of love fest for you where you're just communicating love to the people in your life, to those you love. You are just on your game here in November, going into December. And then, of course, Jupiter is going to enter Capricorn on December 2nd. And he will be giving you a gift before he goes. And it could be something financial because he is in this financial area for you. So there is some sort of gift that he's giving you. It could be some sort of talent as well where you're really tapping into a new talent that you may have or a new gift or a new skill that you are nourishing and developing here. And it's exciting. So for those of you open for love, available for love, why not? You have Neptune in that area, you have the full moon, and it is in harmonious energy flow. You're feeling really good. So that tells me that whoever you bring in, it could be someone that's, because you're in a better place, you're going to attract someone better to you. And it could be, you know, something that just is spicing up your life. You know, it's just adding to this new passion that you have and, you know, seeing in colors and loving what you're doing. Like there's so much happening for you and you love it because you're manifesting and you're making things happen for you. And things are going your way. So be open for new love. You know, go out into the community. Venus is in the community and Jupiter is about to join her. In fact, they're very close together at the time of the Sagittarius new moon, Jupiter is right at the end of Sagittarius. He's almost in Capricorn. And they are trining Uranus right at the end of this month. So there could be, you know, like you go out and then you just bump into someone and you have this amazing conversation. And the next thing you know, you are, you have this wonderful companion and you're having the time of your life. 
Um, what's that song? The time of my life. I've never felt this way before. I swear. <laughs> it's the truth. And I owe it all to you. <laughs> Jupiter and Venus. <laughs> so get out there. Have some fun. And explore. And see where it takes you. For those of you coupled, this is a beautiful energy in here for you. And I think it's going to be amazing how you, you know, share your heart and love and your definition of what relationship means for you at this place. And so, you know, go out and celebrate your birthday. You know, go out, uh, you know, take a nice trip go out for a nice meal, you know, do something that is just pure joy and fun for the relationship and, you know, it's, it's just going to make things even better. I'm not saying, you know, you focused even on your career because things are going so well that you're not even needing to focus in that area at this time. The things are very exciting what's happening for you. You're manifesting, whether you're manifesting the dream job, whether you manifested a promotion, whether you are manifesting more prosperity and money into your life, a new business, whatever it is, it's happening for you and you're making it grow and prosper. So you're really just having a great time feeling very passionate about your life, where you're going, what you're creating, and you're just loving it. Money looks excellent. Money is uh, there for you and will continue to be there for you because you're manifesting it. So if you're focusing on prosperity and you're focusing on abundance and you're focusing on visualizing it coming into your life, let the universe bring it to you any way they want. And don't even you know focus on outcome or limitation focus on feeling that abundant because you are abundant and allow it to come your way and Jupiter you know for some of you Jupiter could be giving you a pretty big financial bonus here before he jumps into Capricorn on December 2nd which is something to look forward to I think you're feeling great I'm not seeing any challenges to the health at this time I think you're feeling you're really feeling good and that totally carries over to the physical spiritually this is a time for you to really allow the relationship between you and creator to be strong and connected you know it's just like go to creator with whatever you want or need or manifesting allow creator to plant those seeds of prosperity in your brain you do that through meditation you do that through visualization allow creator to be guiding you every step of the way if you have a doubt about anything allow creator to step in and redirect the course redirect you to your appropriate place and gifts that the universe are bestowing upon you Scorpio here in November so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring and sharing my videos Scorpio you're rocking awesome and thank you for subscribing you totally rock and thank you for all you new folks that have subscribed Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. And until next time, Scorpio. Wow. Your passion is reignited. You're having the time of your life. Happy birthday!